what are the benefits of trying to be happy nowadays scientists psychologists have realized so many benefits happier people have healthier hearts in fact happiness also boosts your immunity so when happiness makes you healthier does it mean that happier people live longer lives swami mukundananda is a global spiritual leader bhakti saint best selling author and a beacon of spiritual wisdom and inspiration with a mission to inspire and transform lives swami ji's teachings bring ancient vedic wisdom into the modern world His insights on mind management, holistic living and selfless devotion to God have touched millions worldwide. Join us on this journey where timeless wisdom becomes practical. Subscribe now. We are also crying for happiness, laughing for happiness. One thing we are all searching after. And the mystery thickens. The search for happiness is not of one lifetime. The Vedic philosophy is of eternity. We all have existed since eternity. So our search for happiness is an eternal one. I once asked a little girl, "Betty, where is your father's house?" She said Swami ji it is in front of my uncle's house so I could not ask the GPS where is this beti's uncle's house so I said where is your uncle's house now she said Swami ji it is in front of my father's house so f- father's house in front of uncle's house and uncle's house in front of father's house I said beti where is your father's and uncle's house She said Swami ji they are in front of each other <laughs> Likewise if somebody asks you you know after the weekend when you go to office and your colleague says where had you gone and you say I went to listen to Swami ji's lecture and he says acha you went for a lecture can you tell us since when have we souls existed you can tell your friend we have existed ever since god has existed mamai vansho jeeva loke jeeva bhuta sanatanah arjun all souls are my eternal fragmental parts and if your friend again asks since when has god existed in that case we have existed ever since god has existed since when has god existed so you can tell your friend god has existed ever since we have existed and if your friend asks okay in that case since when has god and us existed you can say since when even time did not exist since then we have existed because time begins when god creates aksharat sanjayate kala now you create a watch and put it in motion so god creates the world and time begins before creation when there was dissolution there was no time but the soul existed even then so since eternity we are searching for happiness and we must now strive to bring it to consummation step by step by step it will be a journey what are the benefits of trying to be happy let's inspire ourselves why should we want to be happier people Well nowadays scientists psychologists have realized so many benefits there's a whole industry created around happiness actually this topic penguin india came to me can you please write a book on happiness and that is why then i started thinking about it so nowadays they have 
you know happy hours in hotels happy hours in restaurants and even chief happiness officers in organizations whose job is to make people happier so scientists have understood that happier people have healthier hearts their hearts are just more robust and their personality is more resilient which means when stress comes they can bear with it better what an important virtue to have you don't crumble in the face of difficulties but stand up to it if you are a happier person in fact happiness also boosts your immunity tests were done by scientists called sorota and his company they would give pathogens in a pill to people and then check their immunity response via the saliva a little while later and they would also give them a questionnaire to fill up to judge how happy they were on that day so the same person was given the test on multiple days now 500 people were tested like this on multiple occasions and amazingly it was found actually it's only natural the day people were happier their immunity response was better remember the happier you are the stronger your immunity will become so when happiness makes you healthier does it mean that happier people live longer lives it does one test was carried out in this regard there's a monastery for ladies called the school sisters of notre dame where ladies join to become nuns now those ladies who were in the monastery and who were born before the year 1917 their records they used to maintain daily autobiographical journals and some researchers were given access to those after they had passed away and what they discovered was that based on the autobiographical journals they could then judge how happy that individual was and how long that lady lived the nun they discovered that the happiest quartile of nuns 90% of them crossed the age of 85 and the unhappiest quartile of nuns only 34% of them lived beyond the age of 85 So if it is your aspiration to increase your lifespan expectancy naturally you eat the right things but also learn the secrets of being a happier person So this gives rise to one question that supposing now we become happier will it increase our life still actually it will there is one maverick psychologist called ellen langer and she conducted this experiment in 1979 interesting experiment she paid people to come for the retreat the condition was that only 75 year olds would be allowed and they would not bring anything with them no magazines nothing and when they came to the retreat center the environment was created of 1959 20 years ago so the magazines were of eisenhower the newspaper was of the current events at that time all to make those 75 year olds feel as if they are 20 years in the past when they were 55 years old So their psyche was I am a 55 year old 
and three weeks at the retreat center. At the end of it, it was discovered that on all health parameters of aging, their age had reversed. Whether it was the hand grip, it had just become 10% stronger, or it was the short-term memory, or it was the eyesight in everything. They had started becoming younger just because they were feeling younger. So this is the impact of mind over matter. And that is what the placebo effect is based upon. So in each of these cases, what we are experiencing is the tremendous power of the mind over the body. So what this highlights is, people think, if I can become healthy, then I'll become happy. So let me become healthy and then happiness will be mine. But I am telling you the reverse. If you can become happy, you will naturally become healthier.